Hello, it is Sunday, October 3rd, 2021. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to my New York Times crossword daily solve. It is a Sunday puzzle, so not the toughest puzzle of the week, but probably the longest, certainly the largest grid. Just look at that huge grid behind the gauzy privacy veil. Uh, quickly, I want to remind you, as I as I do every day, I'm sorry, but do want to remind you of the Patreon campaign over at patreon.com uh, slash daily solve. And up on there, so far this month, there is uh, one of the um, weekly mini puzzle speed solves, as well as the preseason puzzle from the bosswords.org uh, fall themeless league. And that was a very fun, challenging puzzle intended to be a little tougher than a Saturday. So uh, I am enjoying um, solving those as they actually come out each week, starting Monday, I suppose, starting tomorrow. I don't know if I'll, I'm not sure if I should make those available on the Patreon because they, it is part of a competition and I wouldn't want to, it feels like that might be poor form to put that out uh, on the internet, even in a, sort of a private form, but maybe I'll do it on a delay or something. We'll see. Anyway, uh, head over to the Patreon. It's linked underneath the video in the description field if you're curious about that bonus content as well as the other things you get from the Patreon. All right, let's talk about yesterday's puzzle quickly. Yesterday's Saturday puzzle, which I really very much enjoyed that puzzle. And there were a few comments about things that I could have some more context around. So one from Brian D says, Obies, O-B-I-E-S, the plural Obies, are awards given to shows that did not appear on Broadway. They are off-Broadway, and that's where Obies get their name. It's the letters O and B, the Obies. Very clever. And then uh, he says, it's like Arby's for roast beef. I had no idea. Arby's, the, I suppose the um, fast food restaurant, the name was created uh, from the initials for roast beef, Arby's. Did not know that. Greg Rabin, regarding an amicus brief, says, an amicus is someone allowed by the court to participate in a case even though they are not one of the parties in the case. For example, in constitutional or human rights cases, many nonprofits would want to express their views to the court for consideration. So I think that pretty much comports with my understanding of an amicus brief. It's a document filed with the court to express an opinion, but Greg points out that the amicus specifically is the party that files that brief. Uh, and a party not involved directly with the case. So that is some good knowledge. Daniel A. Miller explains that cornhole, the game that uh, came up in yesterday's puzzle, is played across the U.S. but isn't always called cornhole. Bags is another common name. You're tossing beanbags onto a slanted board with a hole in it. A bag resting on the board is worth one, and a bag in the hole is worth three. So there you go. Cornhole, or bags. And David Chong finally points out that the square braces that some, sometimes surround clues are usually indicative of a nonverbal expression. So in this case, we had, uh, in yesterday's puzzle, we had awkward, the word awkward surrounded by square braces, and then in the puzzle, we the answer was cringe. And so David says, in this case, someone actually cringing as opposed to saying the word cringe. And I think that's right. I think the reason I found it, I was having trouble uh, sort of landing on that is because it's sort of an odd case where the clue is surrounded by brackets, but you almost, you sort of have to imagine the answer being surrounded in brackets for that, for that nonverbal uh, indicator or sort of stage direction kind of thing. All right, let's get on to today's puzzle. We shouldn't waste any more time. It'll probably be a long one, as Sundays are wont to be. This puzzle is entitled Snooze Fest. That is a daring title for a crossword, especially on a Sunday, when I do find Sundays can be a bit of a snooze fest. I mean, they're always very well constructed, but they're so long. They, <laughs> sometimes they can they can be a bit of a slog. So that is uh, a bold move by constructor Trenton Charlson to uh, dub his puzzle such. This was edited, as always, by Will Shorts, hopefully ensuring that it's not too much of a snooze fest, despite the name. Are we ready to get started? I say we are. Okay, goes wherever the wind blows. Um, that's interesting. So it's a, there's a pun, there's a question mark which indicates a pun or wordplay. Not sure yet, let's check some um, crosses. What piano can mean. So piano means soft, 
mu- in mu- musically from from Italian. So pianoforte is actually the full name of the instrument that we call the piano, and that means soft and loud because the thing that was notable about that instrument is that the harder you press the key, the louder it is, and the more gently you press the key, the quieter it is. And that's as compared to other keyboard instruments like an organ or a harpsichord, which do not allow you that dynamic range. So anyway, there's just a little bit of musical knowledge for you. Uh, Cote de blank, Cote de something, Coast of something. Keep thinking Cote d'Ivoire, which is a Cote d'Ivoire, which is the um, African country, the Ivory Coast, but that doesn't fit. What is this? I'm sure it'll be obvious when I see it, but it's not yet for me. Nickname for Isabel or Isidore. I think Izzy, common nicknames for those names. Endeavor is to try to attempt something. Inaptly, inaptly named bear of a tongue twister. Fozzie bear. Isn't there a, there's a Muppet Fozzie bear, right? No, that doesn't, maybe not. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm, I wonder if I know this tongue twister. It doesn't really ring a bell. Harriet's partner on non, 1950s to 60s television. Ozzie and Harriet rings a bell. I've never seen it, but I've, I've heard of that pair. Oh, Cote d'Azur. That, that sounds familiar. Blue coast or the azure coast. Goes wherever the wind blows. Oh, sails, I suppose. Goes wherever the wind blows on a sailboat. Fashion designer Lang or Langa. I'm not sure. I don't know this designer. Could be Liz, though. I mean, with that F-U-Z, almost certainly there's another Z. I cannot imagine what it would be without that. It must be fuzzy, right? Actor Amanda of 2012's Les Miserables. I didn't see that movie, but I've heard of Samandris. Oh, sorry, Amandra Seyfried. Wow, I'm <laughs> mashing together all of my syllables. Amanda Seyfried, I believe, is her name. Uh, was she in, I think she was in the Twin Peaks third season. That's Twin Peaks The Return, I believe. I think I'm thinking of the right person. Winter Weather Hazard. Could be with an F, it could be Frozen something. Five Zs already. It's funny. Member in the genus Troglodytes, so named for its tendency to enter dark crevices. Um, I don't know. Just don't know. What BB King was king of? Not the blues, right? Maybe Frozen is wrong. So maybe there, maybe there are fewer Z's or Z's than I was, than I was thinking. So winter weather hazard. I mean, it could still be freeze something. I'm not sure what that would be. China's shoe on lay L A I. Person who likes all your F B posts, your Facebook posts, perhaps. So we see F B. Facebook is abbreviated. So this too will be an abbreviation. It could be B F F. Best friend forever. Opposite of flatness, fire? I mean, is sort of flat as in boring or stayed? Rattles, oh, maybe it's not BFF, maybe it's a bud? Bro? Flatness, not sure. It does feel like it should be BFF because of that FB. I'm not sure. Let's keep going. Key with five sharps abbreviation. All right. This is a musical key. I have to think about this for a second. Sorry. Um, B. B. It would be either B major or... Yeah, it would have to be B. It would have to be B major, I think, because otherwise it would be G sharp minor, which wouldn't fit. Sorry, I'm not really going to explain. I think this is right. I'm not going to explain how I got there because it's, it's too complicated. But um, well, I hope that's right. Uh, tie the I. <laughs> I'm really out of practice when it comes to music theory. Tie the knot. Mary. Mine in French would be amois, literally to me, but 
mine. Many a collaboration between Louis Armstrong and Ella Fitzgerald would be a jazz duet, I suppose. There are a lot of Z's in here. Members of Bevies and Broods. Paul Simon's I Am A Rock. Birds? A bevy of birds? A brood of... Spanish rice is... Eros? Actually, I'm probably mispronouncing that. This does look like birds, doesn't it? Art of verse. Is that poesy, essentially? Generational divide would be an age gap. Former Queen of Jordan. Former Queen of Jordan. Uh, hopefully I can see that with some crosses. Mapmaker's subject is geography. Um, jeepers could be yipe. Sort of a slightly quaint term at this point. Fuzzy. Oh, actually this rings a bell. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Is that a tongue twister, really? More of a sort of comic poem for children. I guess it's a tongue twister. Opposite of flatness. What is this? Rattles. Oh, phases. You phase someone, you rattle them. Oh, flatness and fizz. Flatness as in liquids. Ah, I see. So a fizzy drink goes flat over time. Okay, so winter weather hazard. It is freezing something. Freezing drizzle, I guess? The theme of this book, oh, snooze fest has, has a Z in it. There's got to be, okay. So definitely all of these Zs are not a coincidence. Yes. Nintendo Princess, Princess Zelda of The Legend of Zelda, pre-Euro currency, uh, Peseta from, from uh, Spain, Quiet Valley, I think, is a glen. Just going to look at these crosses here. Blank Garden could be a Zen garden. When repeated, one of the Gabor sisters, Zaza Gabor, Zaza, how do you pronounce that? I forget. Zaza or Zaza, I can't remember which. Old um, Hollywood uh, actress sisters. So here we have an ostentatious display, a razzle-dazzle. Oh, and yeah. Queen Noor of Jordan looks looks right to me. I didn't get there on my own, but see it with the crosses. Literary traveler to Lilliput and Brobdingnag is uh, Gulliver of Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. A kilt-wearing Greek infantryman. I don't know. I don't think I know this. V V and Z next to each other are odd. Maybe, maybe Razzle Dazzle is wrong. Fixed as tiling. Relayed. You could relay the tile. Northern California town, once home to the palindromic. What? I mean, it must just be this one word that's palindromic and not the whole thing, including bakery. Otherwise, it would be Y-R-E-K-A, which is nothing. Um, that's odd. Well, if it's palindromic, this would have an R, right? If Gulliver is correct. I feel as though I'm missing something about this clue, or something's wrong here, which is totally plausible because this VZ does look odd. What about this one? Spanish composer Isaac. Not sure offhand. C'est magnifique in French. Ooh la la. <laughs> sort of a stereotypical French reaction, I suppose. Letter-shaped construction piece could be an H-beam. You see beams sometimes in crosswords, and they could be H-beams or I-beams. And often you'll just need the cross in order to know it because there isn't any other way to, to sort of disambiguate those possibilities. Tree that Athena gifted to Athens was an olive tree, I believe. A radiation unit is a rem, I think. Western film in old slang. Here's one I only know from the crossword. This is an otter. I think so named because the horse, horses would eat oats, I think is sort of, it's kind of just... I think that's basically what that's about. Oh, and look at this. One of the Gabor sisters, the other ones. We've got Zsa or Zaza Gabor and Eva Gabor. And then here, oh, oh boy, this looks familiar, this composer, but I can't quite close it out. And then jurisdiction of a Catholic church official. A deaconry? No. A, uh, oh, a deanery. What is this? This, oh, it is. The whole thing is, the whole thing is what? Okay, wow, it is palindromic. That's incredible. 
So it is y r e k a Eureka Bakery. Is there a town called Eureka spelled with a Y instead of an E-U? I don't think I've ever heard of that, but that's astonishing. <laughs> well done to the people setting up a bakery there so that they could make the whole thing a palindrome. That's incredible. Wow. Color me shocked. Color me phased. Rattled. So maybe this E-V-Z is correct. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this unit or what or whatever it is, I don't think. National tree of the U.S. It must be oak based on these fills. I didn't actually know that. Uh, a frenzy is a mania. Wood-shaped tool is an odds, right? Wood, sorry, wood-shaping tool, an odds, I believe. Pac-Man navigates through one, a maze. Pac-Man navigates through a maze in the video game. Totally over it all. One has had it. One is totally over it all. No. No, maybe not. Jaded. Sorry, that um, had it doesn't fit the part of speech. If you're totally over it, you're jaded. F zone. I I'm gonna have to just assume this is correct. I apologize if the if you know why this isn't correct. This killed wearing Greek infantryman. I just don't think I know this word, unfortunately. No nonsense TV judge is Judge Judy. I'll, I'll, I'll bear this in mind in case the puzzle doesn't validate at the end as somewhere to come back to. Buckskin, let's see. Final creature encountered in Dr. Seuss's ABC. Well, it's got to start with a Z, right? Because I assume this is a book in which each letter of the alphabet has an associated creature. So I bet it starts that way. And then an unsightly spot could be a zit, unsightly spot on the face has over, invites, or I don't know. Uh, let's, let's go back. We've, we've skipped quite a few crosses. We've, I got very distracted by that northeastern corner. So here we go. Little black dress. There we go. Member of the, in the genus troglodytes, right? Oh, is this a wren, perhaps? So named for its tendency to enter dark crevices. That's the that refers to troglodytes, not wren. I think I got I think I sort of got confused by that. To get closer and closer could be to home in, not to hone in, but to home in. I mean it might not be home in, but but <laughs> if it is, that is the correct usage. Order of roses. Order of roses. Um It's not rosés, is it? Something about wines or... I don't know. I'm not seeing it. Chain that sells chains. Not sure. It could be chains on, a, on car tires. It could be jewelry chains. I mean, it could be so many things. It could be some sort of home repair thing. Jeepers. Oh, maybe. Oh, something. Levels. Uh, transfixed. Could be a gaze or a gape or I maybe mean, that could be an A. Chain that sells chains. Yeah, I just don't know what that is. Um, actually, if it were a gaze, we'd have another Z, which we do seem to want. Oh, an order of rosen, maybe, maybe it's a dozen roses, actually. And then this is not home in, so get closer and closer. Zero in. Yeah, which means basically the same thing as home in. So transfixed could be a gaze. Levels could be, oh, raises, as in level to the ground. If you raise a building, R-A-Z-E, you level it. So jeepers could be egads. That's a fun little quaint exclamation. That's a nice counterpart to another one of those we had somewhere. I don't even remember what it was anymore. I think there was another, oh, yipe. There we go. All right, kicked back could be lazed. Paradise lost is Eden. And a rattlesnake's warning... S, I suppose just the S sounds of a snake. And then chain that sells chains is Zales. I think that might be a jewelry chain. That sounds right. Old fogey with a G. Um, Gramps, maybe? I'm not really sure. Former telecom giant that merged into Verizon. Not sure offhand. Singer, singer Lisa could be Lisa Loeb. Mercedes Dash, that's a brand. Mercedes Benz, car, car manufacturer. Scatterbrains, um, 
that's someone, presumably someone who's kind of absent-minded, perhaps. Ambrose Bierce defined it as a minor form of despair disguised as a virtue. A minor form of despair disguised as a virtue. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what that is because I, I always enjoy the when they have quotations in here. All right, far right state, far right state. I mean, the, the most obvious reading of this would be a state in the United States that typically leans towards the right politically, but I suspect that's not what this is. That's usually when there's something like that, there's a bit of um, of misdirection or wordplay going on, but I'm not, I'm not sure offhand, so I'm going to keep going. Something stretched out in a yoga class could be a mat, a nervous state, a tizzy. I'm, I'm now <laughs> predisposed to try and think of words with uh, a surfeit of Zs in them. All right, a bit of tomfoolery could be an antic, a kind of ray, a manta ray uh, in the uh, in the sea. Pretty please, can I? Kvetches could be carps, kvetchings, Yiddish term to complain, to carp. What is this? Sportscaster Jim with the classic opening, hello, friends. No idea, so I hope I get some crosses. <laughs> Actress Anna of Love, Victor. Anna Ortiz looks, I mean, I don't know that I know Anna Ortiz, but I, but that's a name, so that works. Francis's tenure, e.g. Ah, the papacy, Pope Francis. Reason to hang up. I'm not sure. No interest on the phone, but that doesn't fit. Aphids to ladybugs are prey, I assume. Prey, ladybugs prey. Makes could be earns, as in a salary. Reason to hang up. I still don't see it. Pound and others could be Ezra Pound. Ezra's, because and others. Worshipper of the rain god Tlaloc looks like an Aztec to me. And then here we have key for getting out, not in. So that's the escape key on a keyboard, I suspect. And let's have another one of these uh, double Z. So let's check here. Which Disney princess are you and the like? So it's a plural and probably quizzes, I would think. Online quizzes or personality quizzes or something. It could be BuzzFeed quizzes, actually. That would get us two more Zs and BuzzFeed, which is an online, n now I think also a sort of fairly legitimate news source, but um, I think best known for Click baby articles and lists and personality quizzes and things like that. All right. Center of LA once. What is that getting at? Center of LA. Is that Los Angeles or is it cleverly something else? I'm not sure. Sufficient informally. So I think informally is enough with an F. And no O G H. Quick nap or ah, here's the revealer placed precisely where we would expect, according to Lyle's law, in the lower part of the grid, in the acrosses, usually off towards the eastern side. And I believe the answer is 40 winks, a quit, quick nap. And that surely is related to all these Z's because catching some Z's is a way to refer to a um, to a nap, right? So what is this? Sleep indicators. Oh, <laughs> and here would be the Z's. So it could be could be Z, I mean, it could be Z-E-E-S, Z's, and it'll obviously be spelled the American way, or it could be just four of the letter itself. Um, I don't know which, but I'm certain at least about how it'll start, if not how it will continue and conclude. But maybe we can look here. Violated a code of silence. Spoke? Um Sang? Oh, yeah, sang, right. Because it's a code of silence, I think in this case, oh, sort of like omerta, a, um, not, not in a monastic sense, not monks with a, with a vow of silence, but rather a code of silence in a criminal organization or something like that. So you'd break it by singing to the cops, say. So that makes me think this is Z-E-E-Z's. So we can get the S in there. So having some pep, okay, let's, we looked at this. Oh, right. Final creature encountered in Dr. Seuss's ABC. So this is certainly going to be a nonsense name. This will be an invented creature by Dr. Seuss that we couldn't possibly get on our own without filling it, I suspect, almost entirely through crosses, unless, unless we had just happened to read Dr. Seuss's ABC recently, which I have not. 
Um, possibly not ever. I don't remember that one. Like varnished wood. Um, I'm not sure. To go after, could be to dog, to sort of go after someone. I mean, I feel as though this actually could be a number of things. Football sideline reporter Colbert, don't know. I think that might have come up before, but I don't remember the name. Brand of pretzels and chips. Uh, well, again, because I'm predisposed towards this one particular letter, I think Oots is a, well, I know Oots is a brand of, of pretzels and chips, and it's probably the correct one for this particular puzzle. So electric blank, it could be electric eel, and then that would make it go after to sue somebody. Pan fries is to saute, so pan fries is sautés. Here we have another theme answer, I think. Opportunities to win a vacation on Wheel of Fortune. I don't know. Um, I'm not really, I mean, I've seen, I think I've seen Wheel of Fortune a couple times, but I don't remember all of the mechanics of it. Center of LA once. Oh, I wish I could. Oh, maybe it was a center as in an arena. <clears throat> so the name of maybe a, a sort of venue that once existed in LA, but no longer does. But I just, I don't know what that's going to be. So bistro sign word. Bistro sign word. What would be, what would a bistro have on a sign? Not sure. To break away, to secede, as in from a nation. Oh, bistro, oh, Shea, perhaps. Often, so Shea is sort of the home of in French. And so often a bistro will be named something like, you know, Shea Paul or something. And it, that's the name of the, of the, um, of the uh, establishment I see. And now what the center of LA is once, it must be Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. So that must be center, must be a position in basketball that Shaq, Dr. O'Neal once played. That must be the case. Okay. Collect little by little would be to glean as in information. Beyond cold, oh, gel, uh, no, um, gelid. Sorry, not geld, that's a very different thing. Uh, there we go. Woman's name meaning night in Hebrew and Arabic. Um, I don't know offhand. I'll be curious to see. Basic skateboarding trick is an ollie. That's sort of the little, little flip you do on a skateboard. Took off, fled, as in the scene, I think. Um, oh, maybe it's Lee. Not sure yet. Diamond, who went platinum. Oh, no, it's not. Maybe Lila, because Diamond, who went platinum, Neil Diamond, went platinum. Boy, there has been, here in the UK, particularly in England, with England, with uh, the England national team in the Euros earlier this year, Neil Diamond's song "Sweet Caroline" became absolutely a sort of national obsession. It is absolutely bonkers, and I'm still hearing it in advertisements, you know, radio ads and things like that all the time. It is nonstop. Okay, uh, woman's name meaning night in Hebrew and Arabic. Um, yeah, it must be Layla. Icelandic work that influenced Tolkien, yes. The Edda. The Eddas were um, the Icelandic sagas. Um, I didn't necessarily know that they influenced Tolkien, but that's not a big surprise. I think I think Tolkien was, I think Lord of the Rings was it enormously based on European folklore. Okay, big name in car parts. Auto zone, car zone, that would make sense. Um, alas... And yet, yeah, I'm not sure. Let's move on. Pointy-eared dog. Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, if I knew a whole lot of dog breeds, this would probably be extremely obvious based on these crosses. I assume there aren't very many choices, but I'm not sure offhand. Maybe I'll recognize it eventually. Victoria Falls River. Oh, I'm not sure. Uniform adornment. Could be a metal or a sash or an epaulette, maybe. Yeah, there we go. The the decorative element on the shoulder of a mil of some military uniforms. All right. Oh, this must be puzzles, right? Some sort of puzzles on Wheel of Fortune because that's a game show. So puzzles looks right. What is this pointy-eared dog? Spitz? I don't know what this is. Football sideline reporter Colber Susie. Could be Susie or Suze. Those are both plausible names. 
Oh, yeah, probably Susie, because alas, look like it's a pity. Alas, it's a pity. There we go. So maybe this is Spitz. I don't think I know this breed. Lively on a score. Oh, would that be agitato maybe? It'd be a score meaning a mu musical score. I'm not sure. That might be wrong. I'm going to not put it in yet. Seven prefix sept something. Oh, right. Maybe it's not it's a pity, but rather tis a pity. And so that would allow this to be sept something, septa, I'm not sure what, uh, yeah, it actually could be agitato in that case. What is this? Alternative to Advil or Aleve. So these are painkiller medications. I'm still not confident about this. I'm going to delete it. Sorry. Aspirin? No. Um, I don't know. Has over uh, seats maybe? No, I don't think so. Sci-fi travelers, ETs, extraterrestrials. Um, stocking stuffer. I don't think we saw this one, did we? What would one put in a stocking? A, a toe, maybe? Obviously, it's the first thought is Christmas stockings hung above a hearth, but what would fit in that? I mean, literally a stocking. You put a leg in it or a toe. Does, it, does that work with either of these? Oh, counterfeit. I didn't look at this clue ever. Or sots. So sort of ersatz, an improvised version of a thing. Spike the Beanie Baby, e.g. Huh. I mean, Beanie Babies were a huge collectible fad in the 90s and early 2000s, I think, but I don't I don't know anything about them. Is that, does anyone know anything about Beanie Babies at this point? I mean, I'm sure people do, but is that something that, what would that mean? It must be a kind of animal. Um... What is this? Stocking. Oh, maybe it is toe. Stocking stuff or toe. Having some pep. Um, Spike the Beanie Baby. Something with an N-O. Is there an animal that fits there? I don't know. I might delete toe because I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't have enough crosses to be confident. Big Ten Powerhouse for short. That'll be some university sports team. Well, the university that has the sports team that is a powerhouse, I think. 11 en français, so that's in French. Ons is 11 in French. Parts of snowmobiles are skis. Exploits is uses. And then Big Ten Powerhouse is OSU. That sounds like a plausible university, probably Oregon State, maybe? I don't know. Exploits uses. Like May through August, unlike the other months of the year. Huh. Like May through August unlike the other months of the year. I mean, that's, hmm. This is probably very obvious and I'm overthinking it or something. Popeye creator Sager. Ozzy, no, we already have Ozzy in the grids. That doesn't, I don't think that would happen. Reason to hang up. What is going on in this corner over here? I don't really... In a bad way, could be ill. Do I have something... Oh, this isn't... No, that's right. Oh, wait. Oh, it must be something... Le there must be a letter that isn't in... Is there R? R-less? Do all the other months of the year have R's in them? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yes. So... R. Oh, no, oh, reason to hang up, no answer. LZ. That's an unusual name. I don't think I've seen that name before. Is that correct? I hope it is. I don't see what else any of these answers could be with these crosses. So it must be LZ Seeger. All right. Fair enough. Scottish denial would be nay, N-A-E, and then Ione, one of the Nereids of Creek Milk, looks right. Okay, so now we just have to finish this whole thing off. Eye shade. Conflagration. A flame? Conflagration seems bigger than a flame to me, but let's try it briefly. Footnote abbreviation. Oh, I'll know this when I see it. The White Lotus error. Error. So this would probably be a television network. I don't know. I've never heard of, I don't think I've ever heard of the White Lotus. View from Lake Como. An Alp, maybe? Country Music's Blank Brown Band. No idea. 
footnote abbreviate. Oh, is it IP, CIT, or something like this? I'm gonna, it's gonna drive me crazy until I get it. Victoria Falls River. Oh boy, I just don't know. Um, opportunities to win a vacation on Wheel of Fortune. I don't know, maybe I'll delete Flame. All right, Scatterbrains, that's how I feel right now. Comedian Fields, I don't know. Boy, there's quite a few references I'm just not, that just aren't, aren't obvious to me this time. Part of Partner of Glamour. Glamour, glory, glit, oh, glitz and glamour. And that's got another Z. So, boy, this is going to be a fun, <laughs> this Dr. Seuss creature, I'm looking forward to having it spelled out. That's sort of a fun, that's a fun element of this, of this puzzle, the way that this is constructed, the central answer, because I, I just know that because it's a nonsense creature from Dr. Seuss, it's just very clear it's going to be completely impossible to get without being essentially fully crossed. And so, once you see that that's the case, there's <laughs> the whole puzzle is kind of um, it's it's all building inward toward that central clue, which is really kind of a fun. That's a fun element, a, a sort of meta element of the solve that I think is very clever. Well done, Trenton Charlson. Okay, comedian Fields, former telecom giant that merged into Verizon. G, I I just don't know. I wish I could remember what that was, but I, I just don't know if I do. Old fogey, oh, a geezer. Sorry, that should have been more obvious earlier, probably. Whoops. Okay, scatterbrain. Uh, uh, scatterbrain's dits. Ditzer? I don't think that's a thing. Uh, stupor. Oh, don't think I saw this. One's in a stupor. One's in a, a funk or a. Um, another thing. I feel it should be should be clear. Amber, oh right, this Ambrose Bierce quote, quotation, a minor form of despair disguised as a virtue. Might end with C-E. Patience. <laughs> that is, that's, uh, that's pretty cutting. A minor form of despair disguised as a virtue. Patience. Wow. Slightly cynical. A multitude could be a scad, scads of something, multitudes of something. Whoops, whoops. Didn't mean to put that M in there. Six day war leader Wiseman. Oh, um, uh, hopefully that's more obvious with some crosses. Like varnished wood. This is another one that feels like it should be very straightforward. Spike the beanie baby having some pep. Could it end with a Y stocking stuffer? Oh, a toy. It is. It was the most straightforward possible interpretation. I'm sorry about that. All right. The, the, the reason I got there, even though it should have been more obvious in a more straightforward way, was that this is having some pep. And with such a short word, I figured there's probably a Y at the end. Um, you know, speedy or something like that. You, y turns it into an adjective. And then that led me to toy. Um Oh, zingy, maybe? I was wondering, how many how many Zs could this word possibly have? Maybe as many as, you know, maybe maybe all of them, basically, except for the occasional vowel, uh, although there is an R, so not all of the consonants are Zs. Um, but that's, what, that's how I got to zingy. So let's see, like varnished wood. Maybe, maybe this is... Something wrong here? Buckskin. Oh, deer hide. Bucks, a buck is a deer. Of course. Oh, Spike the Beanie Baby must be a rhino, has a spike. Okay, that's a much more fair answer than I imagined it to be. You could you could infer that, maybe. A oh, resiny, like varnished wood? That's eh, not crazy about resiny. Is that a thing anyone's ever said? All right, let's see. So if that's another Z there, Azer, let's see, Zazzer's us. Zizzer, Zazzer's us, something like that, probably. So this might not be the last thing I fill in because this section down here is giving me more trouble. Let's see. What is... Opportunities to win a vacation in Wheel of Fortune. Peace puzzles. 
Ah, oh boy, I just don't know. Alternative to Advil or Aleve. Oh, Motrin sounds right. Yeah, okay, I was right to be skeptical of Agitata there. Prize puzzles? I mean, you could win a prize, I guess. Victoria Falls River. Oh. Oh, is this in Africa? Oh, Animato. I want that, yeah. I want I wanted that to be Zamb something. Zamb. Ah. Oh, eye shade hazel. It's oh boy. I was thinking either a sort of shade of makeup or a shade that goes over your eyes, but it's a shade meaning a color. Country music's something brown band. Could be Zach with a C or a K. I mean it could be it could be absolutely anything. Oh, I think actually a C though. That looks right here. I want to say that's a C I T. That's sort of to Sambizi. Yeah. Oh, a conflagration is a blaze. That's much better than flame. And white lotus error, H HBO, I guess. Op opposite, that looks right to me as a footnote abbreviation. I don't remember what it means, but it looks correct. Birthplace of the... Oh, I didn't look at this before. This would have made this area a lot easier. Birth birthplace of the Franciscan order is a CC, St. Francis of Assisi. Um, so has... Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a nice um, counterpart to... The papacy of Francis, because um, Francis named after Francis of Assisi, I think. Okay, far right state. Oh, okay. So Maine. So it is. It is wordplay, and it was misdirection. It doesn't refer to far right on the political spectrum. Spectrum. It's the the far the most easterly. In other words, on a map, the most rightward state of the United States. Maine has over. This looks like something's wrong here. Do I, have, do I have a cross? Something wrong with the crosses? Is SEPTA not seven? CC? ZIT? Unsightly spot is ZIT. Maybe ZIT is incorrect? Boy, we have to start with a Z, doesn't it? Has over. Oh, hosts, hosts, hepta, oops. Okay, hosts, there we go. They're taken out in alleys, oh, pins in a bowling alley. That is it, okay, here we go, it's all It's all happening. Could this be GTE, Comedian Fields? To, oh, boy, I just don't know. Scatterbrains, oh, ditzes, what did I say before? I said something around ditz, but it, why did I not get that? I don't remember. Okay, stupor is a daze, here we go, here we go. Oh, this is just going to be tough. I'm just going to have to guess on this former telecom giant and the comedian fields. That is a real shame. <laughs> so this must be zizzer zazzer zuz. That's got to be the case. So Toti Fields looks plausible. GTE as a former telecom giant. I think T is the most plausible fill for this cross. It's a shame that my final that my final cell is a bit of a guess, but let's try it. Yes. Okay. All right, that was a. I really, really enjoyed. That, I, I, I have to say, I enjoyed that more than your typical Sunday puzzle. It wasn't a snooze fest for me. So, well done, Trent and Charleston, for uh, having the hutzpa to name your puzzle such. And let's see, four. So, forty winks or a playful description of the sixty-four. I never really followed this through, but I think what this means, forty winks a descriptor of the Z's here, it says. So are there 40 instances of that letter in this puzzle? Let's see. So we've got two, uh, that's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 16, 17, 18, 18, 21, 22, 24, 27, 28, 31, 32, 33, uh, 33, 37, 38, 39, 40. Yep, 
40 winks, 40 Zs in the puzzle. Very, very clever. Really nice construction. And I wish, <laughs> I wish I had been more confident about GTE and Toti so that I could indeed have finished off the puzzle at the very end with this nonsense creature, the master of the letter Z, the Zizzer Zazzer Zuz. That's very good. Um, yeah, great puzzle. Really liked it. Uh, I was, I think there was that um, Chicxulub crater in the, in a recent um, puzzle that I, I was probably the, for me, the most difficult thing to spell in a crossword I've encountered. And I suppose this would, this might, might be in contention for that if, if it was, if you had to actually solve it, you know, as a standard clue, as opposed to essentially as a meta game within this puzzle to be solved entirely through crosses. Uh, but I love that. I love the, I love the way that this was centered right in the puzzle as a showcase of the letter Z to be eventually whittled down through crosses. Extremely clever. Well done, Trent and Charleston. Okay, great puzzle. Let me know how you fared with it. And, uh, that's that, I suppose, for today's Sunday. Um, if you are enjoying this series, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, subscribe with the subscribe button and or the bell underneath this video so that you can see uh, each edition of The Daily Solve as it is published in the morning, most days. Uh, well, every day, but generally in the morning. And if you think you know someone who might enjoy this series, please consider passing it on either directly to a friend or through whatever online venues you inhabit. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for anyone who's done that. And if you would like to help contribute to the online, the ongoing, sorry, sustainability of this series, head over to the Patreon page at patreon.com slash daily solve, where you can get access to bonus content, bonus solves, as well as uh, enhanced access to the... Um, Discord server, the chat server that uh, I've set up about a week ago, two weeks ago, maybe. And anyone can join that. But if you join it through the Patreon, you get special access and a little bit of extra credit for having done so. And uh, as well, the uh, private channel as well in there. And uh, also, depending on the level at which you contribute, you can get an exclusive mug, which I will be designing with uh, input from the people in the appropriate tier. The people in that tier, in addition to the mug will, uh, that they will eventually receive, also get special thanks right now because they are hugely helpful. And today I would like to thank Rahul as well as, as always, the excellent Hood Monster. So thank you so much, Rahul and Hood Monster. Thank you to everyone else who's back to Patreon and thank you for you for watching this video and making it all the way to the end. So I will be back tomorrow for the much quicker Monday puzzle, the first puzzle of the solving week, and I hope you join me then. But until that point, please do have an excellent rest of your Sunday. Take care. Mm -hmm.